and welcome back so in today's tutorial we'll be looking on one more API okay you can call it as uh, a hidden API because I was unable to find it out on the service not docs so I will not be showing it on the reference but it's there okay so the API name is apply encoded query so what exactly the apply encoded was in today's tutorial we will see uh, what exactly the apply encoded where it does I will show you some background of it uh, what traditional ways we are using it okay when we are not using the apply encoded query and how and how much it's powerful to use this apply encoded query how how we can use it in our day-to-day -day activity we would go through each and every aspect on the same and I uh, I can assure you that you will be pretty amazed with the concept okay so let's get started so basically um, I can't show you the service number reference today because it's not there. So let's go to our favorite table only incident. Okay, I will show you the incident dot this. So for example, we have this incident table, <coughs> and on this incident table, uh, you know this is a filter, right? You, everyone knows that this is a filter. So if I select a filter over here, okay, you can uh, for example. If I give a filter like um, planning, sorry, um, let's type state uh, category software. Okay, I'm doing show matching category software, and then what else we can do? Mm, state is assignment group is service desk. Okay, let's give one more condition with description and my PD short description my PDF. So in this way we have created a filter for this particular record. Okay, and it's like category is software, assignment group is service there, so short description is PDF. Okay. So what exactly it's doing at the back end? So it's creating a kind of SQL query okay for this particular table and it's getting that the record based on this particular query only. Okay, from the database. So First of all, I will copy this query out. Okay, I will show you why. Okay, and if I now go to, if I go and click on the new button, so new button ideally should uh, should simply give a blank form. But now I have applied the filter first on the test view, and if I click on the new button, let's see what happens. So first of all, it will take some time. <laughs> so now, if you see. Can you see the difference? Okay, whatever we have selected in the breadcrumb got auto set on the form. As you can see, category is short software. Here, category is software assignment group is service desk and short description description. So, what exactly is happening over here? So, what's happening is like key whenever we create we select a query, okay, at the list view when we create when we click on the new button it takes the reference of this particular list or if this particular breadcrumb or you can see this particular end got query okay and with that reference it's create the record that means it defines key, okay we need this as an input for that particular new record okay why i have explained you this i will give you so we will be performing the same thing okay using our api called apply encoded query so let's go with this example only. If you have a requirement where you want to create a record uh, which should have this only these three values, okay? That category is software, assignment group is service desk, a short description. So what traditional approach you use nowadays, okay? So what you will do first of all, you will go to fix script, or you can say I will go to fix script. Few people don't prefer fix script, and we'll create a new fix script. Okay, so we'll get give it a name as if it permits. It's a rolling run. Okay, let's give it a name. Oh my God, it's so slow. Okay, let's give it a name as SR apply and co sorry encoded query. Okay, I will make it. I will save. And here, 
so now our requirement is like I will just paste the encoded query okay so did I copy so what we want we want to set category as software assignment group as this particular group short description is this so the traditional which way which we use is like it will be like variable jar equal to equal to new glad record record and in that I we will give incident okay then the next step will be like gr dot initialize okay because we are creating a new record okay and then we will be like gr dot set value okay and we will take one one field at a time okay so how many fields we have one is category second is assignment group third is short description so let's go one by one first of all I will take category and I will put this category as software okay you must be getting what I am doing right because you will also do the same no rocket science you will do I'll zoom out somewhat somewhat more so first attribute is set then second then third and then we'll be doing assignment group as whatever is this is this idea of that assignment group and then short description and we will give the short description for so this is what we will be doing okay and then it will be like gr dot insert right let's try to execute this thing out okay Hard works. So I will save the record, and currently there is only one record with this particular criteria. Let's try. Mm -hmm. I will run the fix script. Hope there should there should not be any data policy over there. Okay, which will block it out. So we have ran the fix script. Okay. And if I go and refresh, now you can see a new record got created, which is this one. You can, you don't trust me? It's like open just now. So this is the traditional way. For example, right now we have three attributes. Now if you want to create a record which was for a custom table which have around 30, 40 attributes, how you will do that? Will you do this set value for each and every field? Ah, it's pretty tedious, right? So I have a solution for this problem. Okay. So what exactly is have? That's why I shown you what ha exactly is happening when you click on the new button. As soon as you, as soon as you click a new button, what it does? It takes this encoded query and it applies this encoded query to this new record. You don't trust me, okay? We will take this URL. We will again go to the fix script, okay? And I will paste it over there, okay? And now you can see, forget about this. And now you after sysparam query, okay? After this sysparam query, if I enter, so you can see category. It's set to software. A seven group got set to this and short description got set to whatever you may have given let's say now percent two six is an ASCII value for space so that's why so it's already setting this value so can we set an entire encoded query to the record rather than setting it as an individual value yes we can do that and where that's where the apply encoded query will come into existence so how we can do the same and what is the syntax for it we'll see so we will have the same same use case okay i will copy paste the same thing okay so i will give variable gi equal to new glide record and then initialize i will give it as a traditional method okay and this is like a smart method okay why it's method okay so in that I've done G 
Chia again I am doing the glide I will comment this out for time being okay incident initialize and now instead of setting each and every individual value what I will do I will do Chia dot yeah, it's not the right over here so the syntax is apply encoded query and the name itself signifies that what exactly will be happening in this so we are applying that encoded query from the list view to the record okay and we can simply paste this thing out okay as is in the encoded query and we can simply do gr dot insert do you think will it work so we are simply applying the encoded query so you can have 30 attributes also on the list view you can simply create an encoded query for this or you can create a filter condition and paste on the filter condition uh, you can so first of all you will have the validation on the list view okay you have already validated the query on the list view and now you are simply applying that query when uh, you are creating a record okay let's see if it works first of all first as people will start commenting with like anything okay so let's run it out run the fix script and let's to proceed and now see let's see what happens so now it ran the script okay it did something I don't care about that and if I go to the list view again now you can see it has created one more record with this script so it's pretty easy right yes. yeah apply and encoded query okay so if I open this newly created record so it will have the same attribute set it okay but without any efforts of setting individual value right we have set the entire query okay so it's like software it's our description this and assignment group is service test so this is the same logic which is used when you are working with a template so if we go to the template okay template 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 um, where's the template so when you work with the templates right? standard change all templates let me go to the all templates and the same apply and credit query is worked at the back end so if I for example if I open this record so for this we have a change values over here right okay and based on this template values a record will create which will have this values set to the field right this is a condition script you can see okay so if we look at the back end of this okay key how the things are working over here so now you see this interface beautiful interface where you are setting the value but actually this is getting stored at the bank and as the encoded query only you don't trust me okay I will show you so if I do do what is the template value okay it's a UI macro so if I do show XML and we see for the template values it should be somewhere to, to, to template name mm -hmm. control F I will give mm -hmm. so this particular thing is also get stored in the form of template scan code query only but why I'm unable to see this script dot manager I 
I think it gets stored on proposal, right? So let's try it on. Service catalog network category. Oh, I can open this record only. And we can. Where's the proposal? So you have to go down, 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 down. Let's go to proposal. In proposal, you will have this value, this condition field, right? So here we have change equals values. And if I see over here, the name is template values. That's what I'm, I want to show you. So this is template values, okay? So if it go and if it see how exactly this particular data, this particular conditions or you can say or any query is stored at the back end. So if I do show XML, control F, control V. So now you can see it also got stored as an encoded query over here. If I copy it out and paste over here. So you can see short description equal to this. Then where's the other attribute? Test plan equal to this. So this is also getting stored. All the templates are also getting stored as an encoded query. And at the back end on the server side it will run the uh, apply encoded query to generate the records. So I think it's pretty clear now what exactly the apply and credit code does and how you can use it out into the day-to-day -day activity. Okay. Hope you like this video. Please like, follow, subscribe and please drop comments because based on your comments only I'm creating new videos. Okay. Till then stay safe, stay happy and have a nice day. Thank you.